for helping me set up this art show. I would also like to thank my teachers, Joe Young, Rich Ferguson Ho, and Eric and Dwight also. And I hope you enjoy the show. The curator of film and theater at the prestigious Wadsworth Anthenaeum, the oldest public art museum in the country. And she's with us today. And we, Stevie, this is a blessing to have her here because she doesn't have to be here, but she took some time on her schedule to be here. Folks, I'm going to introduce the lady of the hour. Let's hear it for Debbie Gaudet. Happy birthday, Stevie. You <laughs> had told me about Stevie and his talent. And then Jane and I were talking, and Joe. And they started to talk, tell me about the competition that was held at CRT a few years back in which Stevie <coughs> won an award. And when I left, I remembered that a few of my colleagues had actually been on that jury. And the, the, the really wonderful and interesting and ironic part of the story is that when they saw Stevie's work, they were so impressed and they wanted to get to award him as a winner, but they thought that there was some kind of mistake and that the child who had created this work was older than what was listed on the paperwork. So they went back to Joe and they said, and, and I remember Gretchen Dietrich telling me this, you know, this child is really remarkable and extremely talented, but you know, we thought that he was much older and Joe assured them that the age was correct. And yes, Stevie won the prize right. for that category. And so you know that when a museum expert, a scholar, is wrong about the age after seeing hundreds and thousands of paintings by children and adults of all ages, you know that there's a lot of talent there. And so. questions about his beautiful paintings and what inspires him and how long it takes for him to finish his paintings from the beginning to the end. And I heard also so it's your birthday? Yeah, yeah it is. And how old are you now? Ten. Ten. Well, happy birthday, Stevie. Well, I just wanted to um, start with some of the pictures. Could you give us a little tour? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I did that one this summer and um, it's a uh, sunset. sunset. Do you take your inspiration yeah. from pictures or from actual things that you've seen? Well, actually, I did that one from my mind. Oh, oh beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. And do you know what kind of style do you paint? Is it like impressionist or? I would say that's probably an, a cross in between abstract and impressionist. impressionist. Seven, <sighs> and um, that's of a field. I I think I got inspired of that from. <sighs> the this. Uh, hmm. Okay, it's a beautiful field. Is it in Connecticut? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I it's sort of inspired from my school because there's a big field there. Oh, okay. And there they also have a willow tree, so that's pretty much what inspired me. Tell us about this one. Um, I did that one at the Griswold Museum in the uh garden. <sighs> and um there was this beautiful tree that I saw in a painting. And that sort of uh, is what inspired me to do that tree back there. Yeah, and they also had a lot of exotic plants, so that's what inspired me to do all those. So I did that one when I was um, six or seven, I think. And um, 
uh, I'm not quite sure how, but it sort of tur- that uh, splat sort of turned uh, out as a uh, face, sort of. It sort of looks like a face. Yeah, and it's sort of supposed to be something exploding. Yeah, it does look like something exploding. Yeah, all the colors. Thank you for all that you've done for Stevie and, and all the children um, that you've um, shared your talents with. It's tremendous. We're one person. Uh, Stevie's one person among many that you guys have shared, and it's tremendous what you've done for, for students in Hartford and the community around it. You know, we really, it just doesn't happen. He's gifted. But what brings it to the next level is a supportive mom and dad who do things. So let's give it to his parents for his work. Happy birthday!